everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. So today we are going to be doing something, not an appetizer or like a quick meal. We're going to be doing a dessert today. So for us, we were able to do two apples. We just made a small batch. You guys can add as much as you want um, that is able to fit into your air fryer. I have a couple things I wanna go over with you guys today to make this just because you need to get some extra things for this one. Um, so let's get started and I will show you what I went ahead and got started with. I ended up prepping a little bit beforehand just so it didn't take so long but I'm gonna go over um, what I did and what I have mixed up already. So what you're gonna need is two apples. We ended up using Honeycrisp, Honey Crisp, and they turned it out pretty good. So that's what I have in the bowl right now is I have my Honeycrisp apples in here. I have cinnamon, brown sugar, and lemon juice in here right now. So that's the mix that you're gonna be putting in to put in the air fryer. And here are some of the things that you're gonna need extra today. I already have it in my air fryer already. So go ahead and get something that you're able to put into your air fryer. Anything that you're able to put in your oven is fine um, enough to use. I did end up going and get something, hold on one second. Okay, I did end up going to Walmart and getting another pan in hopes to be able to put it in there and it ended up just resting right on top. So that's not gonna work. And this was a seven by seven. So you're gonna need something a little bit smaller, um, maybe measure ahead of time on something that you can uh, use in there. I don't have like a size of what this is, but it fits perfectly in there and it works just fine. So I'm able to get more apples in here if I wanted to. So this is another thing that you're going to need. And then you're going to need this also or something that you're able to put in the air fryer to help you with um, what we need to do. So I'm gonna be putting a piece of foil on here and I need something to weigh down the foil from it flying around. So I got this with my Instapot. You're able to get these on Amazon. Maybe I'll try to find a link for you guys and you can kind of pick one up that way. I don't know if they sell these separately like at Walmart or anything, but you, you are gonna need to weigh down um, the foil, but you don't want it to be so heavy that you're not gonna be able to keep that foil on there. So this worked perfect for me and I'll show you as soon as uh, we get to that point of how it worked for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside of my um, pan that we're gonna be using just so nothing like sticks to the bottom. And like I said in some of my other videos, just go ahead and use any kind of cooking spray that you guys like to use. So I'm just using whatever we got from Walmart, just great value, the butter kind. So, okay, so put that in your air fryer and then doo -doo -doo. you're gonna wanna give that a good mix. And you can cut up your apples to any size that you want to cut them up to. I do have a core and peel um, thing that I hook to my table that I'm able to uh, do that all in one step. So go ahead and cut up your apples into any size that you would like. These might be a little too thin, but you can go ahead and cut them into like bigger chunks if you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here. And that just goes right on the bottom, if you can see. So you could always add a lot more in here. You don't have to keep it a small portion. So for us, and it was just like me and I think like six of the kids ended up trying this and we had enough for just us to have like a light snack um, and that worked fine. But if you guys wanna make more 
uh, or a bigger batch then add some more apples and double the recipe so here we go i'm going to show you guys how to do the foil this is just going to keep the moisture in the inside of your baking dish for when it fries up okay so i put that in there now i'm going to put this right on top make it loose enough so that you're able to um push that foil down in there and then you want it to be able to have it low enough so when you put it in your air fryer that it's going to fit also we did have kind of run into that the last time that we made it that it ended up um i didn't have it pushed down far enough and then it was too hard for me to fit it inside here so just make sure you have a little give on the foil that you're able to push that in there okay so we are gonna cook or set our air fryer to 350 we're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. Um, in the meantime, I can talk to you guys about what I did for the topping. You guys probably had or made apple crisp before in the past where you need your crumble top to go on top of your apple crisp. I went ahead and I put my brown sugar in here and my oats in here and some salt in here. And I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys so you can uh, copy that. And then you need your cold butter. So I have my butter cut up in pieces already. And when we're ready to top it, I'm gonna mix that together. I don't wanna do it yet because I don't want, I want this to stay cold a little bit longer. So we'll come back and I'll show you how this goes on top and then how much we need to set the air fryer for. So I'll come back in a minute and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so the air fryer is finished. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. This is really, really hot. Take the foil off. And then you're gonna cook for another five more minutes and then come back and we're gonna top it with the topping and I'll show you what to cook that on. But for the remaining part of this, we want to put it so you're gonna set it for 350 and go down to five minutes and that started up and then we'll come back in a little bit. I cooked it for the five minutes, that's finished and now we're gonna top it with the, the topping. So I will show you. Put that right there. And you're gonna to wanna to take your butter. You wanna take your butter. And go ahead and mix it all up with your flour oatmeal mixture. If you would like, you could use um, you could use a beaters to mix it up, but you don't really want a lot of that butter to um, melt up. So you just want that butter to be able to pick up all of the flour and the oatmeal and stuff in there. So I just use my fingers and like smush it all over. So, and then with that, you're going to show ya. You're just gonna, oh, that just went everywhere. I'm just gonna tap this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So if anybody has made, like I said before, has made apple crisp before, it's pretty much the same thing, but just in the air fryer. So you're more or less just looking at like the temperature and how to go about doing it, like with the foil and the trivet thing on top, that's gonna help with um, holding that foil down, so. Okay, 
So that's that. And then we are going to cook it for another five minutes on 350 and then we will be finished. And then I will show you what it looks like. And the kids already tried this and they love it. So they're kind of excited to have this again. There was one kid that didn't get to try it. So he's kind of patiently waiting for it. Did you have it last time, Declan? What? The apple crisp? No. You didn't want to try it? No. I have some kids that don't like fruit and stuff like that. So, but I have one. It was you, Nat, right? I didn't want it. No, but you want it today, right? Yeah. Okay. So after we're done, he'll try this and see if he likes it. But, so let's go ahead and then put that right in. Okay, so... 3.50 and five minutes and I'll be back again. Here is done, everything is finished and I will show you guys what it looks like. Um, make sure you guys either have like a hot pad or something that you're able to pull it out with. Um, it does get pretty hot in there. So let me get something. All right. So we will. This is the best part. always um, leave it in longer if you want if you want it to be a little crispier on top but your apples will be done so don't worry about them not being done and with having the foil and stuff on top that'll help that'll help with that so let's just top it off with some caramel and some whipped cream. All right, guys, so there it is. This is what it looks like. Just something quick and easy and simple for a little quick snack. So if you guys get a chance to make it, please leave it in the comments below on how you guys liked it and how it turned out. Other than that, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos like this. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.